what is happening guys i hope you're all doing good so today we are going to be delving into the character of yorick now yorick the shepherd of souls is a character from the shadow isles well currently from the shadow isles we're gonna find out a little bit more about where he's actually from in this video however I actually realized that A, I don't think I've really done any videos covering much to do with the Shadow Isles yet. So this is going to be a first, which is going to be quite interesting. But also this character is like very fascinating. They've got some interesting, like even like the attack moves are super interesting. I've heard the lore for this character is super fascinating. They've got like these like little like creatures that they summon and something called like a Maiden of the Mist that's like attached itself to Yorick. So I'm going to be really excited to delve into this character's lore today. Like I said, the Shadow Isles is an area that I've not gone over too much in these videos and also I know it's going to be linked into the Ruined King game because obviously Viego is you know the essentially like the ruler of the Shadow Isles essentially and we also know this links into the character of Thresh that we have previously seen on this channel before there are other characters too but obviously I haven't delved into them too much as of yet so that's gonna be fun however I figured we'd kind of get started let's have a look into Yorick and as always we're gonna start with the story stories of Yorick. We're going to start with the lore and the tidbits that League gives us themselves. So let's delve into the first story. The first story that we have got is called Yorick, Shepherd of Souls. So obviously this hopefully is going to give us a bit more of the backstory of Yorick's character. The last survivor of a long forgotten religious order, Yorick is both blessed and cursed with the power over the dead, as we've seen in like what those little creatures are. I presume they're like souls like from the Shadow Isles and same again with like the Maiden of the Mist. So trapped on the Shadow Isles, his only companions are the rotting corpses and shrieking spirits that he gathers to him. Yorick's monstrous actions belie his noble purpose to free his home from the curse of the ruination oh so actually he probably is from yeah so he's from like the he's from where the blessed isles was which then became the shadow isles due to viego trying to bring azoldi back and obviously all that went to pot we obviously saw that at the beginning of the ruined king where basically like the entire of like the blessed isles got like destroyed um essentially and became the shadow isles while most children his age were playing hide and seek, young Yorick was making friends of a different kind, the spirits of the recently deceased. So he always had that power, so that's interesting. At first, Yorick was terrified of his ability to see and hear the dead. Whenever someone in the village passed away, Yorick would lie awake all night, waiting for the chilled cry of a new visitor. He could not understand why they chose to haunt him and why his parents believed the spirits to be nothing more than nightmares. In time, he came to realise the souls were not there to harm him. They were simply lost and needed help finding their way to the beyond. Since Yorick was able to see these spirits, he took it upon himself to be their guide, escorting them to whatever awaited in eternity. So even like in life, he was doing this already. So that's quite interesting that he already had that ability. The task was bittersweet. Yorick found that he enjoyed the company of ghosts, but each one he brought to rest meant saying farewell to another friend. To the dead, he was a saviour, but to the living, he was a pariah. The villagers only saw a disturbed little boy who spoke to people who weren't there. Tales of Yorick's vision soon spread beyond his village and drew the attention of a small order of monks who dwelled at the heart of the ba Blessed Isles. Its envoys travelled to Yorick's island, believing he'd bec become an asset to their faith. Yorick agreed to the journey to their monastery, and there he learned the ways of the Brethren of the Dusk and the true significance of their trappings. The monk carried a spade as a symbol of their duty and to conduct proper burial rites, which ensured souls would not lose their way. And to each brother wore a vial of water drawn from the Blessed Isle's sacred spring. These tears of life represented the monk's duty to heal the living. So they, uh, we haven't seen, like, too many specifically religious orders, or, like, at least I haven't yet within the law. So this is quite an interesting kind of first for me. I mean, I've kind of seen like orders of like um people that have been like to do with like the world runes we've heard bits about that and we've heard obviously about like different orders linked to like certain like assassin groups and things but nothing specifically linking too much into religion i don't think so yet no matter how he tried yorick could never gain the acceptance of the other monks to him he was tangible proof of things that should only be known through faith they resented his power to easily perceive what they themselves had struggled their entire lives to understand shunned by his brothers yorick found himself alone again oh well, that sucks. One morning, he tended to his duties in the cemetery. Yorick was interrupted by the sight of a pitch-black cloud 
roiling across the surface of the Blessed Isles, devouring everything in its path. Yorick tried to run, but the cloud quickly enveloped him and plunged him into shadow. All around Yorick, living things began to writhe and contort, corrupted by the foul magic of the Black Mist. People, animals, even plants began to transform into vile, ghoulish mockeries of their former selves. Whispers emanated from the turbulent air around him, and his brothers began ripping the vials of healing water from their necks, as if the objects were causing them great anguish. A moment later, Yorick watched an abject horror as the monks' souls were ripped from their bodies, leaving cold, pale corpses behind. Among the quieting screams of his brethren, Yorick alone could hear voices within the, within the mist. Remove it. Join us. We will become one. He felt his fingers grasping for the vial at his neck. Mustering all his resolve, Yorick forced his hands away from his throat and commanded the howling souls to stop. The black myth mist writhed violently and darkness overtook him. When Yorick awoke, the winds had calmed and the once fertile lands had transformed into the grotesque hellscape of the Shadow Isles. Isolated tendrils of the black mist clung to him, trying to overtake the one living thing not yet corrupted. As the mist wrapped itself around him, Yorick saw it suddenly recoil from the vial at his neck. Yorick clutched the blessed water, realising it was all that kept him alive. In the days that followed, Yorick skiled the islands for survivors but only found the twisted remnants of once what lived there. Everywhere he walked, he witnessed wretched spirits rising from the bodies of the dead. And as he searched, Yorick slowly pieced together the events that led to the cataclysm. A king had arrived seeking to resurrect his queen, but instead had doomed the isles and everything on them. So that's Viego and Isolde. Um, and we, as we saw that, we saw that in the beginning of The Ruined King. So Yorick wished to find this ruined king, yeah. It's a really great anim animation, actually. Like, it's really sad. Um, but I'd definitely recommend it. If you've never seen, like, the beginning cutscene of The Ruined King game, I would re definitely recommend it. It's very, very good. I mean, the game itself is very good, but I would definitely recommend that cutscene if you want a little bit more context as to, like, what happened to the Blessed Isles. Like, that will give you that context. But he felt powerless in the face of the seemingly endless death that surrounded him. Almost lost within his grief, Yorick began to speak to the spirits around him, attempting to find solace with them as he had as a child. Instead, as he communed with the mist, the corpses left their graves, guided by his voice. He realised the bodies that he'd once laid to rest were now to his to command. A glimmer of hope shone from the heart of his despair. To free the dead of the Shadow Isles, Yorick would wield their power and their strength, and in order to end the curse, he would be forced to use it." Right. So he's still alive. Like he he is like affected by the mist, but he's still got his own like thoughts. He's not been like fully corrupted by the mist. He is like still himself. And I'm also presuming that he's had some kind of like long longevity to his life because the events of Viego and the Shadow Isles happen like hundreds of years before the actual events of like the Ruined King game. So like he if the if he was around when Viego first did those steps, then he must be like hundreds of years old, like surely but that's interesting oh I, I also feel bad for him that he was like always like an outcast and like he was always like he had those powers beforehand and it's interesting to see how those powers like saved him in a way uh but then have also given him the ability to hopefully like save the blessed isles so the time that he's spent there has like changed him because obviously even if like the black mist itself can't physically change him can't take his soul away like emotionally and like his like thoughts and feelings and everything might have been corrupted themselves by everything that he's like seen um, so let's read the next story, um, called Last Right. I mean, the artwork is absolutely gorgeous, and I mean, um, I actually don't think there's many trailers for me to watch, if I'm being honest, re in regards to Yorick, but, um, we have previously watched videos to do with the Shadow Isles, and to do with, like, you know, like, the transformation, and actual, like, characters going through the Shadow Isles, and we've seen characters like Thresh and stuff, and it's, it's a, it's an incredible landscape, an incredible setting, and I really need to play more of the Ruined King game so I can get more of an appreciation appreciation for it because i'm presuming that you end up on it at some point i think you actually do end up going there from bilgewater so i really need to do that because it's it's really good anyways let's read the story so last rites help me begged the shipwrecked man yorick couldn't say how long the survivor had been lying there bones broken bleeding into what remained of his wrecked sailing vessel he had been moaning loudly but his cries were drowned out by the multitude of wailing souls that haunted the isle a maelstrom of spirits gathered around him drawn to his flickering life force like a beacon hungry to reap a fresh soul the man's eyes widened in horror he was right to be scared. Yorick had seen what happened to lost spirits taken by the black mist, and this, this was warm flesh, a rarity in the Shadow Isles. It had been, how long? A hundred years? Since Yorick had last seen a human being? Or a living being, I should say. 
He could feel the mist on his back quivering, eager to wrap this stranger in its cold embrace. But the sight of the man stirred something in Yorick he had long forgotten, and whatever it was could not allow him to surrender this life. The burly monk heaved the damaged man onto his shoulder and carried him back up the hill to his old monastery. Yorick studied the face of the injured man as he groaned in agonised protest with each step the monk took. Why did you come here, live one? After completing the climb, Yorick carried his guest through several corridors in the abbey before coming to a stop in an old infirmary. He eased the shipwrecked man onto the massive stone table and began to check his vitals. Most of the man's ribs were shattered and one of his lungs had collapsed. Oh, yeah, that is not good. Why do you waste your time? Asked a chorus of voices speaking in unison from the mist on Yorick's back. Yorick remained silent. He left the table and made his way to a heavy door in the rear of the infirmary. The door resisted as he pushed, his hand doing little but leaving a print in the thick layer of dust. He pressed his shoulder against the wood and heaved his entire weight into it. So much effort for naught, sneered the mist. Let us have him. Again, Yorick answered it with contemptuous silence as he finally forced the door open. The heavy oak dragged across the stone tiles of the monastery floor, revealing a chamber of scrolls, herbs and poultices. For a moment, Yorick stared at the artefacts of his former life, struggling to remember how to use them. He picked up a few that looked familiar, bandages yellow and brittle with age and some ointment that had long turned to crust and returned to the man atop the stone table. Just leave him, said the mist. He was ours the moment he came ashore. Quiet snapped Yorick. The man on the table was now gasping for breath. Knowing he had little time to save him, Yorick tried to bind his wounds, but the rotting bandages fell apart as quickly as he could apply them. As the breath grew more ragged, the man convulsed. He grabbed the monk's arm in agonised desperation. Yorick knew there was only one thing that could save the man's life. He uncorked the crystal vial at his neck and was considering the life-giving water it contained. There was precious little left. Yorick was unsure if it was enough to save the man, and even if he did, Yorick was forced to face the truth. In trying to save the man, he was just chasing the memory of his former life when this cursed place was called the Blessed Isles. The souls in the mist had taunted him, but they taunted him with the truth. This man was doomed, and if Yorick used the tears of life, he would be too. He closed the vial and let it rest against his neck. Stepping back from the table, Yorick watched the man's chest rise and fall one last time. The black mist filled the room, spirits clawing out from it in, in anticipation. The mist shivered eagerly and then ripped the dead man's soul from his body. It uttered a faint, feeble cry before it was devoured by its new host. Yorick stood motionless and uttered a barely remembered prayer. He looked at the soulless husk on the table, a bitter reminder of the task he had yet to complete. While the curse of the ruination remained, anyone who came to these isles would suffer the same fate. He had to bring peace to these cursed isles, but after years of searching, all he had found were whispers about a ruined king. He needed answers. With a single motion of Yorick's hand, a thin strand of mist poured into the man's body. A second later, it rose from the table, barely sentient. But it could see, it could hear, and it could walk. Help me, said Yorick. The body shambled out of the door of the infirmary, its slowing footsteps echoing through the halls of the monastery. It continued out into the foul of the cemetery, walking through the rows of empty graves. Yorick watched as the corpse trudged towards the centre of the aisles until it disappeared into the mist. Perhaps this one will return with its an with the answer. Oh, so he's like using like the body to like go and try and like find answers about this like ruined king that he's like heard about but he, he doesn't know much so even after hundreds of years he still doesn't know anything he still has made no progress really but also with him trying to save that man and it's kind of the sad reality is that like if he used that water on that man that might might have saved his life he was essentially dooming himself and he knew that if he didn't survive and didn't live then who's going to save the Blessed Isles? Like, it's that horrible reality of, like, he can't sacrifice himself because he needs to save this place. But also, like, in doing that, he's then, like, the, he's let the man die. He knows his soul's going to be taken by the Black Mist. He knows that, you know, it, it's another person he can't save. And it's that reality of, like, he wants to save everyone, but, like, he can't. And that's, like, the most frustrating thing. And it's actually, actually makes his character really tragic of, like, he, and the way that I kind of envision him of, like, he's this very, like, sad, like, lonely man, like, trying to keep his sanity, trying to keep himself alive and trying to find a way to, like, save the Isles, but 
not really getting anywhere and especially if he's like trapped there like it makes me wonder like with him being trapped there like can he ever leave you know is there a way for him to leave is can he like travel with the black mist because obviously as we've seen like when like viego leaves like he goes to other places he goes to go and find like senna and lucian for example at one point to try to find the part of the zoldi soul that's connected to senna in the i think it's like the ruination cinematic that we saw and he leaves the isles to go and to go and do that um and he has all that black mist and stuff that comes onto the islands and we obviously know that like the black mist has traveled onto bilgewater before as well because we know that like hecarim in the ruined king is being referred to as like he comes out of like the fountain or something like that and like attacks um the people that were like there so we know that like the black mist can leave the shadow isles and it can attack certain areas and it's a big part of the whole ruination storyline the ruined king story but can yorick is my question so because it doesn't really mention very much but maybe there'll be a little bit more in the wiki but these stories were actually really interesting and it definitely gives a very sad picture of yorick as a character and i'm quite looking forward to hearing the voice lines and seeing about what he says because i think that unless he has an awareness of viego being the ruined king i can't really and like obviously if he knows or has come across the other characters that are in the shadow isles i don't really know how he's going to kind of react to any of the other characters in the game it's actually a bit of a mystery with this one like i honestly have no idea how he's going to react to like anyone quiet and solemn individual resigned to his fate long ago he dutifully digs graves for those who die and have died on the shadow isles and while he often talks tormented souls around him because of his loneliness and grief and despite caring for the souls he was aware that they've been controlled by the mist his ultimate goal is to find the ruined king and find a way to let everything in the shadow isles die and in his mind finally be a peace including himself oh that is sad he definitely sounds like he is like very he's like he sounds like a very lonely character like he's sala he sounds very tormented and that he just like wants to be at peace and i actually really feel for this character i really feel bad for him as well so much to his dismay yorick is immortal there's no way to permanently kill him gosh reminded me a bit of like aatrox um with like the being immortal and just like wanting to find peace and like die but obviously yorix is less vengeful and more just kind of like trying to like stop the shadow isles he can control the elements of the black mist and the dead to his will so yorick can summon dead souls to his bidding so the mist walkers must be like the little creatures that we've seen and then the maiden of the mist he there's a move where he also like summons her or i should say it um because it's technically i think the maiden of the mist i did have a quick look and it looks like the maiden is like an amalgamation of like lots of different souls from the the black mist all kind of put together um so the yorick can summon and control the maiden of the mist to do his bidding apparently so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the voice lines which is one of my favorite things to do <laughs> so yorick i think is gonna definitely be a very tormented character like i said i'm gonna be interested to see the interactions between him and other characters however this video may not give us too much on that um however i do actually have a video which is yorick's interactions so we're actually gonna watch that video specifically for the interactions so what i'm kind of hoping to get from this video is more of a feel of Yorick's character what he's going through how he feels about certain things how like he maybe like talks to the mist and how he like talks to the maiden of the mist I'm kind of hoping to get more, a bit more of like a look into the relationship that they kind of share and just kind of see like what Yorick's going through as a character because it's really interesting to get a glimpse of that and I always love using this channel because they always put like music with it and everything and it's very atmospheric and I'm I really enjoy these so we're gonna give this a watch so let's delve straight in Yorick, look what you've become. I've okay, I'm immediately presuming that's what the mist sounds like. I've become what I must be. Ooh, ooh, okay, he's got a nice voice. I am the rift between life and death, the thin divide between breath and grave. Oh, okay. He's he's got a very good voice. For some reason his voice isn't like what I imagined it would be. I don't know why, but I kind of imagined him. I mean, he definitely has like the low voice that I imagined, but I don't know why I imagined it being like a bit more I don't know. I don't know what I thought it was going to be like actually. <laughs> I don't know. I like I for some reason like I got like Nathan Lane in my head. <laughs> what he was gonna sound like and i just i don't know why because <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense but you know here we are so um <laughs> 
some of you would just be like, what is she on about? But I love the contrast between the two voices, the fact that they've included the mist as well, or I'm guessing that was meant to be like the maiden of the mist. I like the fact they've included that. It's going to have that interesting, like I'm presuming they're going to have that back and forth, kind of like how like Kindred, like the wolf and, and the lamb have, which is like one of my favorite things. That is always going to be one of my favorite voice line videos is, is the Kindred video because it's so good. So I like the fact they're going to have that interaction already. So yeah, let's continue. I go wherever souls are adrift. From the ground they come, and to it they return. I cling to life by the thinnest thread, hallowed or profane. I no longer know. The bells toll, and I respond. Oh, wow. To life, to death. I carry these souls to their end wherever it may be. This journey is long, but I will complete it. Are you lonely, Yorick? All things fade, but me. Aww. Everyone I knew is dead. It hurts to remember. Aww. I am the first and last of my order. My path is a circle, my work never-ending. Wow. My curse is our only hope. I do not know what lies beyond, but it is better than this. Death is not always a release. The damned resist their fate. The constant wailing of souls in torment, it never ends. I think it just goes to show like how strong a character Yorick is. Like he, his entire life, he has been dealing with like the spirits of like the undead. He's been dealing with like, these spirits like coming to visit him and having like expectations for him and wanting him to like guide him, guide them like to this afterlife. And the fact that like he's gone from like, you know, like even like almost finding comfort in doing that to it and like it kind of alleviating this loneliness that he'd like felt as a child it kind of like went from that to like some like twisted fate where he was like trapped in this fate and he like can't escape it and it's that like sad reality of like the comfort that he once found in these spirits and this like solace that he found from the loneliness that he felt because he was rejected by everyone else now he's like trapped there and the worst thing is he's actually like trapped there with all the spirits and the souls of the people that rejected him for being who he is you know like they all rejected him and now they're in that position and they are these spirits and these lost souls and they need him to guide them and he like is trapped in the fate of doing so and it's just it's such a cruel fate for this character the voice fits yorick so well like you know i'm sorry nathan lane i'm sure you would have been great but this voice fits him incredibly well. I really love the contrast between him and the the maiden and the black mist and the the spirits character. I think it's a really interesting contrast, and you can hear like the difference between a character that's like grounded and like alive, and the, the characters that are a little bit more like well, the spirits because like they're dead. So it's definitely interesting, and yeah, it's. I'm enjoying it so far. So many souls, so few bodies. Watch them squirm. If they could see what I see, they'd long for death. Alas, poor Yorick. There is no hope. There is some. Ugh. I do not live in hope. I work to return it. Red is the heart that barely beats in me, taken from one who can no longer use it. It pulses with life, as the Isles once did. Aww. Ah, yes. I remember what laughter sounds like. The Isles were once paradise. Now they're a prison. How quick the turn from blessed to cursed. His, like, abilities were, like, described in the stories as being, like, he was both blessed and cursed. And obviously, like, 
you know, the fact that the Isles have essentially gone from being blessed and cursed. It, his his life is just one big, ironic, like, curse. And it, it's just, it's, it's really tragic. I'm surprised his character is, like, as sane as he is coming across. Like, he is not coming across as someone that he has, like completely succumb or like lost his mind to what's happening like he's very much there and he's very much knows his reality and he's like not letting himself be taken by it but you can also hear like the sadness and the desperation of this character and it i genuinely this genuinely is sad like i'm actually i actually feel really really sad for this character it's it's very tragic the mist rise Searching for a place to take root. Mortar crumbles. It falls like all things. This mist has become skin. These isles. How they scream. This land will never heal. But I will lay it to rest. To destroy the curse, I use it. To slow the fleet of foot, to delay the end, I still draw breath. A futile act. Why do you persist? Because I must. I've come too far to stay dead. Your human form is so confining. You could be infinite. Join us in eternity, Yorick. Remove your chains. Oh, it's so I think not. There will be no requiem. Not yet. Oh, I just, I, oh. It's, it's that same feeling that I got when I heard Kindred and the Wolf. And when they were like talking, oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. The, I love how creepy the mist sounds as well. Like, and you hear these like different range of voices. And it's really giving me the image of like all of these like souls, like speaking together as one in this like trapped amalgamation that is like, I'm presuming this is like the maiden would be saying these voice lines when she's like summoned and stuff it's very interesting i will it also makes me wonder if like other characters can see the maiden as well or like it, when yorick summons it i am enough look at the wrong you do it is necessary what i do is just every horrid piece of it Ooh. Our souls are a small price to pay to cleanse this land. Soon, this depravity will end. Theoway's character might be tormented by some of the actions that he does, but it's it's like I said again with like the character even in the story of like letting that man die. You know, it was necessary because Yorick couldn't sacrifice himself because if he does there's no he he believes there is no one to save the Shadow Isles and make it become the Blessed Isles again and make everything go back to peace and bring all the souls peace and rest and himself peace and rest you know it's not just all of the souls that are on this island it's himself too you know he wants rest as well and he's tired because obviously this has been hundreds of years and I like the way that there's this contrast between different characters in this game, and they actually want really similar things. So like I said, like this is remind my, reminding me a bit of like Aatrox, because obviously Aatrox is similar. Like he wants rest. He doesn't want to just be fighting and be immortal. Like he was tired and he was he was lonely and he was like so angry at what had happened to him and he was so angry at the aspects and what they had done and the fact that he had become a darkin and his his like reliance on like like some human to like essentially like carry him and make him powerful so that he can get the vengeance that he needs against the aspects for what they've done to him and it's just fascinating how you've got these like two characters that actually have like relatively similar fates i mean like yorick is like he's trapped on this island he's immortal he can't do anything he's been constantly tormented and all he wants is to like stop it all and bring it to like an end but he doesn't obviously want to stop everything he just wants to save like the shadow isles whereas aatrox was very much like i want to destroy everything because then everything can stop and then i can finally have peace but yeah i i just i like the way that there's like contrast between these different characters that actually want rather similar things that are in 
similar situations but they have very different approaches to it and it just shows that there's such variance with how these characters have been like raised and where they've grown up and what they've learned and how things have affected them and it's yeah i, I, I like it <laughs> the dead shall forgive me i hope we see you yorick we know your weakness you know nothing I've endured more pain than any words can bring. I must dig. All these bodies going to waste. I must bury them all. What's one more grave? Another voice in the cacophony of wheels. I am no tyrant. These souls act on their own. They once called these isles undying. Yet die they will. As you wish, Grave Digger. You retreat like a coward. I will return anon. My army grows. Allies from below. They rise. They fight. They rot. They die to rise again. This horde consumes all. We do not die. And so we fight on. That is a lot of flesh to raise. Some of these faces I know well. I remember when I put them in the ground. Death is not to be feared. We are dead much longer than we are alive. Life is but a brief disinterment. Die with me, brothers, and be free. Arise and return to this world. Take shape. Walk once more. When we end, we begin again. Join me, brother. Return and fight. We shall prevail. We have eternity. Get to your task, great dear. Make our numbers endless. Those souls are not yours to keep. We are stronger. We feed. We grow. We devour it. It becomes us. We shall take all. Join us, Yorick. Let us in. Yours is a fool's errand. The world must be allowed to die. God, the voices are so creepy. I also like the way that, like, there's each voice and a lot of them that have been saying the lines are very different and the way that they're saying is different they're so like the the miss is so manipulative and it's so like strong and for him to like resist it after all this time and everything it's saying and everything it's trying to be like you know don't resist us just join us and we can be stronger we can be stronger together and it, he's like having to work so hard to like push it away and push that down and it, oh, it's it's creepy it's actually creepy but like i love it like I, I oh i think it's done so well it's done such a good job do not resist the mist takes all surrender yorick all will join you are beyond saving i pity what you've become you decay and do not know it we are not corruption we are strength one more step toward Domination. One more step toward the end. Slay them, Grave Digger. Make them serve us. More. More for the Black Maw of the Oh, mist. it's so the cool. The dead have not forgotten. Do you hear that? It is the end. The hole I dig, it is for you. Tired, ancient, and half dead. Still. I come for you. I will not damn you. I will end you. Fear not. I will make use of your corpse. Okay, I mean that's I shall a little bit creepy. Your rights. Yeah, the actions of like using I like grow. the corpses and bringing them oh, back and growing an island, growing like an army from my that graveyard is. is full. We all return to our origin. Stay with me, spirit. Tell me of the beyond. 
In case I never make it, I'm just happy to have company. Remember my name, for one day I will not. One day I will no longer awaken. Do not grieve. At last, I see the wolf. Oh. Oh, you're not kindred there, by the way. If you weren't, if you didn't know. Oh, I think there's a little bit more. Hello, friends. <laughs> it's good to see you. Welcome back. How are things with you? A little longer, friend, than rest. Rest in your rightful place. I thank you for your service. <laughs> the zoom in. I love it. The actions of Yorick, especially like some of like the darker actions that he's clearly taken came out a little bit more there. Obviously we know about him like raising like the bodies from the dead and sort of using them to fight for him and using and like manipulating them. Obviously, you know, very, you know, not, not good actions, but he tries to justify it as like he needs to do this because he's trying to like save the Isles and you know, like sometimes you have to do wrongs and make to make rights but you know it, it's still an evil action but also like with the character of Yorick it's clearly a very complex situation and it's a it, oh, morally it's a really difficult one it, it's a really twisted situation that he's in and he's definitely not the most evil character that we've come across he's definitely been like his moralistic viewpoint i definitely would say has been twisted by the shadow isles and would definitely by the black mist and his thinking as to the necessity to do these things has definitely like his his moral like high ground i guess on it has dwindled quite significantly because he's like i'm gonna create an army of corpses basically and then i'll put them back in the ground afterwards and you know it's not the yeah it's not a good thing is it like so yeah we obviously didn't get too much of a viewpoint of anyone other than his relationship with the mist but like we said it's a very interesting relationship they are definitely very much trying to manipulate him trying to get him to join them he obviously is holding strong and it was interesting the variance in the voices i really enjoyed that as well the other thing I want to watch with Yorick as well is the special interactions because obviously I want to see him reacting to and talking to some of the other characters in the game a little bit more because obviously we didn't see very much. The only character that I really heard anything of in there was probably Kindred because he was happy to, to see the wolf. That was about it. So let's give the skin spotlights a watch. Nope, can't have them. Oh, <laughs> poor Moo Moo. Corpses against mine. Oh, <gasps> may the best win. And that is true, actually. Arizir does have his army. That is true. She's not wrong. Those you ride down will soon rise against you. Ooh. Okay, so he doesn't like. You and I share a common goal. The similarities end there. Oh, interesting. I don't know a lot about Kalista, so it'd be quite interesting to know a little bit more about her, actually, as well. Enjoy this limbo while you can, for I will soon end it. Yeah, he definitely doesn't like a lot of characters, does he? <laughs> There's, like, no one that he's liked so far. Oh, Kindred. I see you always. Oh. One day you will take me. May it be soon. Oh. No, Lucian. I haven't seen your wife. Oh, he's asking about Senna. That's so sad. You remind me that the world is sometimes good and oh. very naive. I mean, that describes looks, I think, I quite well, actually. You as well, though a hatchet would suffice. <gasps> All right, Yorick. My army will soon storm your gates, <gasps> Revenant. Ooh. I pity what you've become. Can turn up a little bit. Shall I end your suffering? <gasps> Yours is a fool's errand. The world must be allowed to die. I need to know more about Rise as well. 
Because the world runes are really interesting. If you want immortality, I'll gladly give you mine. Oh, singed. Oh, not you, mate. Those souls are not yours to keep. That makes sense. I have nothing but time. Show me something else. <laughs> Yours is an easy grave to dig, small one. Oh, no, not I, a digger. They say I was once your age, though I can't quite recall. Oh. If you run, you won't see me stab you. I suppose I have eternity <laughs> to think about that one. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh. I remember what laughter sounds like. Come on, live a little while you can. I've endured more pain than Do any you? words can bring. Come on, live a little while you can. I no longer feel insults. Come on, live a little <laughs> while you can. I'm just happy to oh. have company. Oh, Yorick. Come on, live a little while you can. Ah, yes. I remember <laughs> spewing <laughs> idle words. I love it. Another voice in the cacophony of wails. Oh, the hand animation Flesh as well. Asunder. Flesh reborn. We all end the same. Oh, I just realized his back, it's like, oh, the design. It is necessary. Oh, that's amazing. That cloak is so cool. I didn't realize it was like a, it was like a, like a mask kind of thing. That is sick. One more nail in the coffin of the eye. I wonder who that's meant to be. I wonder if that's meant to be a certain character. It looks a bit like Lysandra, weirdly enough. I can't bury them all. My army grows. All these bodies going to waste. My graveyard is full. So yeah, so it doesn't really seem to like many characters, I have to admit. It pulses with life, as the Isles once did. Aww. Red as the heart that barely beats in me. Aww. A vital ornament. I wouldn't be caught dead in that. <laughs> Mere rags. <laughs> I love fade. it. The sword of a great man. The sword of a fool. <gasps> Ooh, don't about Viego. The king will return for it. Then I will strike him down. Ooh. I've been waiting for this. The blade of the father. A tyrant who will pay for his crimes. Wow. This blade has performed great feats. And I will use it to undo them. It fits me to perfection. Wow. The, the revenance that the Black Mist, like, has for Viego, like, to the, like utter like hatred and like anger that Yorick has towards Viego is such a contrast and you can see obviously it's because like the Black Mist was the thing that took over the Blessed Isles it was the thing that corrupted everything and essentially like destroyed Yorick's life so that like anger towards Viego as a character I like the fact that they've got voice lines that put it across in here as well it's 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 fascinating Okay, so I think those voice lines gave us a really, really good overall look at Yorick as a character, gave us a bit more of a viewpoint into the fact that he's a very, very, like, morally, like, <sighs> twisted character. He's definitely, he's he's doing kind of bad things for good, and he's, he's trying to do it with the intention of, like, bringing peace and, like, stopping everything that's going on in the Shadow Isles, but obviously his way of doing things is obviously very corrupted and not necessarily good. So we're also going to check out the champion spotlight as well. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at this and get a bit more of an insight into the actual play style of the character.
Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight. Featuring Yorick, the Shepherd of Lost Souls. By Shadow Isle standards, Yorick's a pretty good guy. The former monk just wants to free the souls who have spent a millennium trapped in the black mists of the Isles. And he's willing to do some bad things to carry out his holy mission. Yorick carries the burden of a thousand condemned souls swirling infinitely in the ghoulish cape oh, on mean. his back. The shepherd uses these lost spirits to fight anyone who gets in his way. They may not like it, but Yorick doesn't give a damn. He'll do whatever it takes to win, even if it means he's got to bring a little bit of hell along with him. Our souls are a small price to pay to cleanse this land. Oh, I mean, the character design is just amazing. I do love it. Like, and the abilities as well. Yorick's passive is Shepherd of Souls. Whenever an enemy minion or neutral monster dies near York, they'll occasionally leave behind a grave. Enemy champs that die near York always leave one. Mm. Graves last until York moves away. Now, what do graves do, you ask? Well, heads up, it's about to get spooky. York's Q gives him access to two separate abilities, Last Rites and Awakening. Oh. Last Rites empowers the Shepherd's next basic attack, causing it to deal bonus damage and restore a little health. If York is below half health, the healing effect is double. If Last Rites kills any target, a grave is created. If there are at least three graves nearby and Last Rites is on cooldown, York can cast Awakening to raise Mistwalkers from the nearby graves. Mistwalkers basically act like nasty little minions, although you can only have up to four of them at once in your undead entourage. And God, that's strong as well. They roam too far from York. Also, none of the graves can have a cigar. If York wants to win early trades in lane, he's got to wait until he's planted a proper cemetery before going in. Here, Aurelia screws up by hanging too close to York's graves. When the Mistwalkers rise, York follows them in to deal additional damage and recover some lost health, earning an easy advantage. York's W is Dark Procession. Yeah, that move is sick. It looks the so good. A bundle of corpses straight from the earth, forming a wall of rotting flesh that encircles a target area. Oh, it's it's the cool. Wall decomposes on its own after a few seconds, but can also be destroyed by enemy base attacks, whether they're trapped or not. York and his allies can freely pass through the dark procession. When you need to lock down a key target or get away from the living, a big ring of coagulated corpses is just the thing you need. Here, Yorick aims Dark Procession right on top of himself to create a cage that only he can escape from. Unlike Kled, Yorick doesn't need a rope to make a bear trap. Mm. Yorick's E is Morning Mist. When cast, Yorick hurls a glob of mist that damages and slows enemies. Yorick gets a movement speed bonus when moving toward enemies marked by the mist, but the ability's Ooh. true power is that it's the one way you can direct the actions of the otherwise dumb mist walkers. Your walkers gain movement Ooh. speed and leap toward mist-soaked targets, harassing them until their bloody end. That's actually very useful. When you need to stick to a target, a little dab of mist can help clog up your lane opponent's wheels. The Blood Mage almost made it out of this trade, but the Mist helped the Shepherd take Vlad's health bar down to the red, where Whoa. it belongs. <laughs> Your ultimate is Eulogy of the Isles. Yes. Oh, this Your creature design. The of the mist. So and good. Ranks, she'll bring some Mist Walkers with her. The Maiden moves and attacks on her own, pushing it's down the so lane cool. and immediately raising any enemies that die near her as Mist Walkers. The Maiden disappears Whoa. whenever York dies, but unlike Mistwalker, she doesn't have to stay near him to stay alive. When York attacks the Maiden's target, he'll deal bonus magic damage based on the enemy's maximum health. If the Shepherd gets into a fight within earshot of the Maiden, though, she will be smart enough to follow and lend him a helping hand. Mm. That's actually awesome. The bonus damage granted by the Maiden makes her scary strong in one-on-one -on -one duels. Yeah. So York doesn't need to wait for more grace before starting the fight. Instead, he busts out his pretty little lady friend and goes straight for the kill. The spectral duo stood united, giving Shen no time to do the same. Wow. That's impressive. 
When Yorick goes in for a trade, it's best if he brings a swarm with him. Here, Yorick waits until he has a maximum four graves up, then unleashes a dark procession and awakens his ghoul army the moment Gangplank steps up for some minions. With the Saltwater Scourge trapped in the fight, Yorick sicks his undead buddies on him using a well-aimed spray of Morning Mist. When laning, Yorick has very specific windows of opportunity to make strong trades, and misusing that opportunity can leave him very vulnerable. The mean old monk is in position for a strong play here, but he missed his E, causing his walkers to ignore the Grand Duelist. Fiora wisely takes this opportunity to pick off the missed walkers, leaving Yorick's schedule mm -hmm. wide open for a fencing lesson. You know what they say, good fencing makes good neighbors. <laughs> Yorick is better than just about anyone when you need to press an advantage after a team fight. Here, Yorick saves his ultimate until after his team's cleared out the bad guys, then summons the Maiden so her army can tank the first four turret shots. Wow. Thanks to the Maiden's passive, the defending wave of enemy minions winds up transforming into Yorick's minion. <laughs> With a whole new wave of tower tanking ghoulies, oh, there's so side, many. The team blows through the inhibitor. Wow. God, absolutely ate through that. In teamfights, Yorick is too slow to be a diver, so he's better off hanging back to peel for his carries. Here, Yorick wisely retreats to deal with the cold-hearted ladies who have flanked in behind him. He turns to help out his backline, quickly delivering Fiora her last rites. As soon as Dark Procession comes off cooldown, Yorick uses it to lock down the overfed Ash, who quickly eats a face full of boomerang blades. Shoulda ducked. <sighs> Dang. Yorick doesn't actually have to stay in a lane in order to split push it. Here, Yorick sees folks moving toward Baron, so he drops Big Mama Maiden in bot lane and sends her on her merry way. Wow. She refreshes her army of Mistwalk and Amigos every time the squad slays an enemy minion. So soon, she has a nasty pile of friends heading straight for the bot lane inhibitor. But meanwhile, Yorick is present and ready for a pool party in the topside river. I mean, the other that is pretty great. Give up Baron entirely, or hope they go in the team fight before the maiden takes everything in the bot lane. Yeah, that's pretty good. In the end, oh. York's team wins on both fronts, and the shepherd gets to return to his flock and win the game. Wow. Thanks for tuning in to the York Champion Spotlight. Click the links below to unleash an unfathomable <laughs> darkness that destroys the entire world. <laughs> the guitar, I love it. Like I have mentioned before, there actually isn't a great deal of trailers or anything for me to watch in regards to Yorick. He is part of Pentakill, but I have watched the Pentakill music videos before on this channel, and he is part of like the Ruination and stuff. But I tried to have a look, and I, I couldn't actually see that he was in any of like the music videos or in any of like the videos of those events. So I won't be watching them today as part of this so what we are going to do is we're going to finish up by listening to the login screen song obviously they do usually play this as part of the like voice lines we have already heard bits and pieces but i did want to take a bit more of a closer listen because i thought it was a few things that sounded quite interesting during it also i just want to mention like this character design is fantastic i do absolutely adore it obviously you can hear the kind of monastery music which links into his past as a monk in that monastery and it makes sense and obviously we can see on his his neck the water of life as well which is like glowing and it's such a contrast to like and it's so bright it's such a contrast to like everything else around him it like really stands out it's a great great design choice even like his like weapon is like a really great choice too like the shovel it's like it's a very like it's not something you see used as a weapon in a lot of games so it's like interesting to actually like get to see it like slightly changed and harnessed as a weapon in in this one oh it just fits him so perfectly it's so like perfectly like creepy but at the same time like fascinating
drop is so good. Oh, I love that. This is so interesting. Oh my god. I would love more of a cinematic as well. Link to Yorick as well. That would be really good. I also genuinely can't take my eyes off these Miss Walkers. Like, the way they're animated is so creepy, but, like, I do love it. That, like, fantasy horror. Because fantasy horror is one of my favorite genres. I, it, you don't have too many games that are in that genre but i find it like really interesting it's always really like great to play those games when they do come about but it's just they've got like that perfect mix of it here and it would be really great if they if they did something linking more into like fantasy horror because i think riot could do such a good job with it as well they're, they're quite like alien-esque as well especially the one on the right I mean, that song was was really fitting for his character. And yeah, definitely, you definitely get that feeling of like isolation and loneliness from it, but also like of the fight that he's having to, to put up with and the, you know, him having to like make these like choices and stuff. It's, it's interesting. So that was my overall look at Yorick as a character. Overall, Really enjoyed that. Very interesting character to finally delve into. Thank you so much to everyone who requested this character. I definitely would love to see a cinematic of Yorick, especially in the Shadow Isles and what he's got to do. Hopefully in the future, they'll maybe develop the story of the Shadow Isles. There'll be more that'll occur with it. Obviously, I still need to play the Ruined King game. So I don't know quite where they left off with like the Ruined King and the Sentinels of Light and that whole story. I don't know quite where that went, but it would be interesting if they do something with that in the future. Also a big hope of mine of with the MMO that they do actually have the Shadow Isles in the MMO. So it would be really great if you actually got to go to the Shadow Isles and meet Yorick as a character character and have like quests with Yorick that would be super interesting as well um but yeah thank you so much everyone for watching this I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe there's plenty more content on this channel uh there's a few other characters that I've been looking at going through and doing these for so if there's any that you want to recommend me please let me know down in the comments below and if you did not know I'm also a twitch streamer so if you want to come say hi sometime it's Georgie Games over on twitch play a variety of games so yeah come say hi sometime that'd be very much appreciated and I will see you guys in the next video I hope Hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.